Hey, Andia J here, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on the beautiful textures manageability system. Um, so the first two items are going to be in the box and the other stuff that you see here are just some of the things that I used to help me get through the process. So step one, you're gonna wash your hair. I felt that the shampoo was kind of stripping and took away a lot of the oils and stuff from my hair. So then we're gonna go on to step two, which is a leave-in conditioner. I have low porosity hair, so I had to work really quickly to get this product in there because my hair was drying up really fast from the shampoo and then this conditioner. So I opted to put my hair into sections and then from there I will put the sections into twist so that it can be easier for me to apply a little bit more product and then also to do the blow drying. So here I am, I'm gonna finger detangle to get rid of some of that shed hair and then also be able to work some of that product further into my strands. I need to work on not looking so mean while doing my hair. My bad, y'all. So I'm gonna use my Tangle Teaser. If you don't have one of these, you definitely need to go invest in one. Uh, Sally's, get you one. So here I'm adding just a little bit more product to the roots and the ends. The directions don't call for you to use a lot of the product. So I was doing my best not to pile it on. You leave it in for 20 minutes, I set my clock, and I'm gonna do some stuff around the house. And now the real work is about to begin. So step three is all about getting that hair straight. So I have my hair on medium high heat. I'm using a brush here. It took me a while to figure out how to blow dry my hair again because I haven't straightened it in a while, but my Zimmerman brush proved to be the better tool um, to kind of do that chase method with the blow dryer. It is hot. Make sure you're in a well ventilated room because blow drying your hair is some serious work. So here I'm adding a little bit of grapeseed oil to my hair as a heat protectant. Um, this system doesn't call for using that, but I don't want to burn my hairs off. So I'm using grapeseed oil. And now we are ready to flat iron. So here we are at step four. I have my chief flat iron on the highest heat setting possible. I know my hair. I know that it can take a lot of heat. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So if you do this, make sure you do it according to what your hair can handle. So I'm using the chase method with the rat tail comb, starting at my roots, taking my time, and then just going very slowly all the way down to my ends. I was definitely going for that bone straight look. And because it's been a while, I'm going to trim my ends, snip, snip. It's just hair and it grows back. Ain't nobody got time for wispy ends. So here I've done all my trimming and now I'm just putting a little bit of curls so I can have a little bit of, you know, movement with my hair. And I can say that my hair felt really good. I've done the Brazilian blowouts before. Of course, my results aren't like that just because they have extreme extreme heat that they use to do that but as far as a flat iron at home i thought my hair looked really good and it actually felt pretty it felt nice i kept running my hands through my hair um because it, it, it it feels nice you know you have your hair curly all the time it's just different to have it straight so i'm excited i'm on my last piece and bam yeah we're gonna play with it do some of that. This was kind of my signature look when I had perm tear. So I did some pin curls, got a date tonight and getting ready and just doing some fluffing. So overall, not bad. Hey, so I just wanted to come on really quickly just to give you my thoughts on this product. Um, 
I do think that I went through the whole cycle that I advertised, which is curly to straight and then back to natural. I did go through that and I was pretty pleased with my results as far as when my hair was straight. Um, as you know that I did blow dry my hair in medium high. I flat ironed at the highest degree because I did want that bone straight look and I was able to maintain that style for two weeks straight. So I worked out, I, you know, I ride the metro to work. So you've got the whole underground and the wind and the blowing. It's been really hot. It's rained a couple days and my hair pretty much maintained the whole two weeks. And I never really had to go through like each section, but I would do like the top layers to just give me a little bit of movement up top. So I didn't use the heat too much after, you know, the very first styling. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, washing my hair, not a problem. You saw my curls came right back afterwards. I didn't experience any heat damage, but then I'd also like to think that that was a grapeseed oil that helped my hair be coated and be protected from the, um, the flat iron and all the heat. Um, so after I did that, after I washed that, I did use the whole system all over again because I thought that I would be able to maintain my flat or flat twist style that I wanted to do. So um, what I did was I blow dried my hair, I did flat twist, left it in overnight and I took it out. And this is what I'm left with. And I'm not happy with this because I thought I was gonna be able to maintain more of the curl and I'm not able to because the moisture is definitely, it's gotten up in there. It's gotten in there. And I've worked out on this hair already today and I'm not, I'm not feeling it. So these aren't the results that I was expecting like I did when my hair was straight. So I don't know. I think that this product is probably more so for when you wanna have straight hair. But I mean, that's, I mean, that's the great thing about natural hair. You can have that versatility. You can be straight one day and curly the next day. So, I mean, overall, I think I will use this product again just to do flat iron, not like straight styles, but I wouldn't use it to help me maintain my curly girl styles. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys try it out. I will put the link below where I purchased this. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. I love you for watching.